talk to me about the basic cooking skills of conscious eating. It's not as hard as one would think. I like to say cooking is not tennis. You can get really good at cooking without having any skills at all. I, don't, I can't chop for the life of me. We should do, I should do a video sometime of me chopping because it's really a pathetic situation. And it doesn't matter. I mean, you can put me next to the best chef in the world and give us a dish and he'll do all this fancy stuff that I can't do and he might finish you know, two minutes faster and if the recipe's the same, it'll taste roughly the same. It's not about you know, doing this stuff really, really well. It's about doing it to a standard that's acceptable and then choosing decent ingredients. And it's a lot about your palate knowing how to assemble things in a way that you like. Whereas tennis, you're not, I'm never gonna get good at tennis. No matter what happens, I won't get good at it. Cooking, if you cook for a year, four nights a week, you're gonna be really good at it. I mean, I, I don't honestly believe that. And you can choose any, you know, 50 years ago, no one, in any country in the world could learn how to cook the food of another country in the world without going to some expert from another country and saying, and, and saying, please teach me. Now anyone can cook, anyone in the United States can cook the food of anywhere else in the world that day. You can go, you buy a cookbook or you go online, you go to almost any store, you can buy most of the ingredients of Indonesia or Vietnam or Morocco or Mexico, whatever you name, and you can go home and follow a recipe and do it. This is incredible stuff. So in a year, you could have experienced cooking 10, 20 different cuisines and gained some knowledge and facility. It's really an incredible thing. The, the rest of the world doesn't eat, you know, 10 times more meat in their diets than they do plants. No, but they're, they're, they're starting to. Things are getting worse in the rest of the world. That's, a, that's part of the big problem. Um, and I, I will end here on an optimistic note. I think that for whatever reason, and I think it's kind of a form of hybrid vigor, the United States has led the way in many things in this world, in good and bad. But right now we have shown the world what a really, really bad diet is. And a lot of the world is imitating us as they have in music and art and all, you know, building roads and driving destructive cars and so on. But we're going to figure out how to turn that around. And, you know, with luck, we'll figure out how to turn around the transportation mess also and some other things. And, you know, we can be a, a little bit of a good example again also. That's the optimistic view.